I'm happy to be joined today on Primetime Local News by Honorary Colonel Michael Ravenhill, also the CEO of the David Foster Foundation. It's been about a year since we've chatted with you, so thanks for joining us one more time. Thanks so much for having me. Now we're going to get into the David Foster Foundation and organ donor and tissue donor awareness. But first of all, I want to talk about your title of honorary colonel and your connection to this area. You are the honorary colonel for the 410 Fighter Squadron in Cold Lake. So tell me a little bit about, about that and, and how much you enjoy that. Well, I, first of all, it's an incredible honor to, uh, to be given the uh, honorary colonel of 410 Fighter Squadron. It's the tactical fighter squadron. So it's the training side of... Um, uh, the four wing. And, um, you know, when it was brought to me, um, when I was asked about it, um, I was quite taken back. I, I'm definitely honored. There's a tremendous amount of people that have gone before me um, that have been in this position um, that um, are, are amazing Canadians. And I think the biggest part about, um, you know, being uh, an honorary colonel is, is how we can be of assistance to the CAF and um, uh, to the Canadian Armed Forces. Um, with uh, with joining the community and the the Canadian Armed Forces together um, to help share the incredible work that the Canadian Armed Forces does, um, not only as our uh, defense, but in the humanitarian uh, sides. And whenever there are any major um, um, catastrophes or anything, the military is there and the Canadian Armed Forces is always there to help. And we've seen that in the last couple of years in such a, a tremendous way. Um, so it's a great honor to be um, the honorary colonel of the 410 Fighter Squadron. It's a wonderful group of men and women um, that are doing a tremendous amount of uh, work and things for the uh, for Canada here and abroad. Well, I want to get into your role now as CEO of the David Foster Foundation. The David Foster Foundation does such amazing things for so many Canadians. And can you just give me the, the I guess, the, the shorter version of what the David Foster Foundation does for those who don't know? Well, the David Foster Foundation has two mandates. One is to provide financial assistance uh, to families of children that require major organ transplants for all their non-medical expenses. So that's food, clothing, transportation, accommodations, travel, um, pre, during, and post-operation um, we're there in their darkest hours. We're there to take away all their financial stresses so they can focus all their attention on their child. And that's really where it needs to be. We have had experience with a family from Saskatchewan here with Bella Thompson and, and her mom, Kyla. They've been waiting, unfortunately, a very long time to get a bowel transplant for Bella and the David Foster Foundation has been helping out during this time. And it's very sad to see that Canada actually has one of the worst records when it comes to organ and tissue donation. So what do you guys try to do as a foundation to create awareness of the need for this? Well, with April being Organ Donor Awareness Month, you know, this is where we try to be a larger uh, megaphone now to, to share the, the importance of becoming a registered organ donor. But, you know, it's about education, <clears throat> education and awareness. Um, we need to do as a as a country, we need to do a better job of educating uh, Canadians on the importance of it. Let me give you a, a stat. There's over 4000 people that are on the organ and tissue donor uh, waiting list right now. And when you think of that, there's 1600 people that are added to that list every year. And even more staggering statistic is five deaths every week. If you think about that. So there's one every 30 hours, and, and it doesn't need to happen. We just need to do a better job of, of educating people so that they will think about becoming a registered organ donor, because um, one day it could be our own life that could be being saved, right? We're right now, uh, just over 30% of Canadians are registered uh, organ donor, organ and tissue donors, and about 10 years ago, we were about 15%. So we're getting there. But as a country, we can do much better. And, and the one stat that always keeps me awake is when I think about um, Canada has one of the worst organ and tissue donor registration rates of all developing countries in the world. But we're one of the greatest countries in the world. So we, we just have to do a better job of, of just maybe educating. Can you tell me about the impact that you can have as an organ donor, mm -hmm. uh, how many people you can actually help? when you become an organ donor and you know unfortunately it, you're, it's kind of the good and the bad with the situation mm -hmm. but how can you actually help how many people can you help if you become an organ donor and that happens to you know actually occur that's such a great question you know one person 
can save up to eight lives um, by being, if, if at the time of their life where they unfortunately pass away and they are a registered organ donor, that one person can save up to eight lives and improve the life of up to 75 people. Like, look at that ripple effect. It's so incredible. So think about that life legacy that you get to leave or that you are leaving for those that are waiting so desperately for that lifeline to continue their life. It's incredible. What is the one thing or, or the best way that people can get started uh, and get involved and let people, and especially have the conversation with their family, uh, know that they want to be an organ donor? What's the number one thing to do to get started? Well, the best way is you can go to davidfosterfoundation.com. And on our website, we have a tremendous amount of information to educate um, the general public on the importance and the need and, and what they're actually doing. And then you there's a get registered uh, section. And on that, then uh, you click on your province and uh, then there it takes literally two minutes to register. It's so easy to do. And then the biggest thing that we tell you is if you do decide to register after you've had that discussion, please make sure that you discuss it with your family and let them know your wishes because that is so, so important. And tell a friend. We always say register, follow David Foster Foundation and then share and tell everybody about what you've just done. Because here's the thing is if you do uh, pass away and your whole family does not know of your wishes, though when it comes time for the medical team to determine if you want to carry through with, uh, your, with your wishes, what happens is one family member may not know and they could say, oh, I don't think so. And that will stop the whole process. So it's ever so important to make sure that your entire family knows of your wishes. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. It's always, I, I learn something every time we have a conversation. So thank you so much for joining us and uh, green shirt day tomorrow. So it's a good day. You know, take some time, check out the David Foster Foundation website and you can learn how to help others. Thank you so much for having us and thank you for what you do. Appreciate it.